The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of you follow. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barbershop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith. Now for the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one half hour ministry that you will hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. And now the next voice that you will hear will be the voice of Dr. L.C. Green. Hear ye, hear ye, Dr. L.C. Green. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Willie. Thank you very much. This, this is what I want all of our listeners to do this morning, those of you who are listening this morning. I want you to point your hand towards your radio or your TV. And I want us to say a special prayer this morning for my friend Dr. Whitley. He, he's a trooper. He's a trooper. He's here. And he's not hitting on 100% this morning. But we know a God that's able. And so those of you who are listening this morning, if you're able to point your hand towards the radio or the TV this morning, I ask that you would do that. We're going to have a special prayer this morning. For, for Dr. Whitley. And we also want you to keep in mind, uh, keep in prayer, Mr. Mr. Joe Lewis, he's still hospitalized. Uh, I, talked to, I talked to Ron yesterday, and, and Brother Rufus Caesar is home now. He's home. And Miss Holmes, Miss Holmes over on Dale Road, got a niece that is in the hospital. Let's keep all of them in prayer. Would you please, let's keep those, uh, keep them in our prayer. And also the sweet family in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Come on, let's pray. Father God, we come this morning. We come this morning with a special prayer this morning for your healing touch for our dear, our dear friend, Brother David Whitley. We ask that you would touch him this morning. We think that we thank him for for being the trooper that he is. He's coming and and even though he's not hitting on 100 himself, he's still spreading joy and spreading your word across these airs. So you touch him, we pray this morning. We ask a special prayer this morning for the sweet family up in, up in Lake Charles, Louisiana. We, we, we glad that you're the kind of God that can go everywhere and touch everybody. Uh, they, need your, they need your touch this morning. They need your healing touch. Thank you for, uh, for the report that we have on Mr. Cecil, that he's home now and doing better. We ask for your continued touch on, on Mr. Joe Lewis. Continue to touch his body that he might have complete healing. And even though we don't know the name, we forgot the name of Sister Holmes' niece. You know who she is and you know where she, where she might be. We ask that you would touch them. And there's others, there's others whose name we have not called this morning. But we ask that you would bless because that's the kind of God you are in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my dear brother. God bless you. And we pray your, we pray your, your strength in, in, in the Lord. We pray your strength in the Lord. Uh, this morning, my brothers and sisters, I want to, I want to solicit your help. I, I want to solicit your help this morning. I want all of y'all to, to listen to me very carefully. I'm going to give you a number that I need you to call because uh, I want you to help me. That there, there's a young lady that needs to go to summer school. There's a young lady that needs to go to summer school. She needs to take two classes in summer school, and her. Her mother is not able to afford her to go to summer school, and uh, if, if you, 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 I'm, I'm sure there are some of you who know just like me how important it is uh, for our children to be able to keep up with their class. So I, I want you to help me. I want you to help me. It costs $275 a class. She needs to take two classes. I want you to help me. I'm going to give you a number where you can call me. Uh, I, I don't think it's important, and I would never get on this air and, and put the young lady name out there. I'm not going to do that. That's not necessary. If you want to help, you can help. 
but uh, she need she need two classes for for summer school. And I'm, I'm gonna help her, and I want to get those of you who are listening to to help. Uh, we want to help this young lady to be able to go to summer school right here in the city of Eufaula. It's right here, the city city of Eufaula. We want you to help her. And also, I need somebody to tutor a young lady in math, the high school young lady. She's she's high school and she's. Uh, I need I need your help with with tutoring her in math. My my math days are. Along behind me, but there, I'm sure there are some of you out there who still, still sharp in math, and I want you to help me. <clears throat> I want you to help me with this young lady. Now listen to this number, and I'm gonna give it to you again before I leave. You can call this number, and if you don't get no answer, please leave a message. Uh, three three four two three two four four two eight. That's three three four. Two three two four four two eight. Now, if you can help either either help tutor this young lady in math, and and then there's another young lady. I'm talking about two different young ladies now. One one young lady need to be tutored in math over the summer. Uh, she need to be tutored in math over the summer, and then we got another young lady who need to go to <coughs> summer school and take two classes that she might be able to keep up with her class. Uh, we, we don't, we don't, I don't never want nobody to, to feel left behind, and, uh, especially when we can help. It, uh, uh, all, all, all we have to do, all we have to do is the school is working with us very well to help make sure that we, 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 we get this young lady in, into summer school. Uh, and, and this is all legitimate. If it wasn't legitimate, I wouldn't be on the air uh, talking to you about it. It's very legitimate. We need to help this young lady. Uh, take two classes for summer school, and uh, I went to talk to the principal, and you know they can't they can't waiver that fee, they can't waiver that fee because they have to pay the teachers to do it, and it's two seventy five a class, and this young lady need two classes. So I'm going to ask that you would help me. I'm going to ask that you would help me, you know. And if any of you can tutor a young lady in math, or you know somebody that can tutor somebody in math. The number is 334-232-4428. And I ask that you would call me and let's let's get together and see what we can do. Please remember the names that we prayed for this morning. Uh, Mr. David Woodley, you hear him on the air. But I can tell you, my brothers and sisters, he's not feeling well this morning. So let's keep him, let's keep him in the prayer. I was I was leaving, I was leaving the medical center last week and I saw Miss Holmes. And she was telling me about her niece being in ICU, and, and I apologize, I have not been back up there to see her, Sister Holmes, but I told you I would pray for her, and you gave me her name, and I told you I would forget her name, and I did, but God knows who she is. Mr. Joe Lewis, as of yesterday, is still in the hospital, but he's, he's, doing, he's doing a lot better. We thank God for that. Uh, Mr. Cease, I talked to Ronald last night, matter of fact, and found out that his daddy, Mr. Rufus, is home now. Uh, the Sweet family up in Lake Charles, Louisiana. That's my kin folks there. Their 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 sickness and is in their family, and the doctor has given a bad report. But we know that God is able to take these reports and change them, change them around at, at His will. We know He's able, He's able to do that. We you know He's uh, Thursday. That's that's the seventh of, of of May. That's the National Day of Prayer. That's the National Day of Prayer, Thursday, and we, 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 when I say we, I'm talking about the local ministers will be downtown at the gazebo. We'll be down there all day, and we're asking that you would drop in, drop in and have prayer with us. Just drop in and have prayer with us down, down at the gazebo downtown, downtown, uh, you follow. Uh, and then that night, that 6 p.m. that night, uh, we're going to be at First Presbyterian Church over on Randolph Street. And we're gonna have we're gonna continue our prayer program over there. So we ask that you would come. Uh, <clears throat> the way they got that set up at First Presbyterian, different folks are gonna lead us into different different prayers. And so we want you to come and support that. That's the National Day of Prayer. And and we're gonna ask that that you would join the city of Baltimore today. Uh, the city of Baltimore is asking all of us to pray for them today that they might have peace 
uh, that they may have peace and they may have healing in their city. And uh, that their city is not the only city that need healing. There are many cities that need healing here in the United States of America and all around the world. So I'm going to ask that you would that you would please my brothers and sisters that you would join us Thursday at the National Day of Prayer at whatever whatever time whatever time is good for you. Uh, we got we got ministers scheduled all day to be at the gazebo just in case you want to pray with somebody. But you can come down there and you can pray by yourself. You can sit there and you can pray you can pray by yourself. You can stay as long as you want. If you want to stay a minute or two you can. But we ask that you would that you would that you would that all of us would honor and recognize the National Day of Prayer. And that's Thursday, that's May the seventh and and then that night we're gonna all be over at First Presbyterian and we ask that you would come over to First Presbyterian uh, church right there on Randolph Street, beautiful church right there on Randolph Street and join us in our National Day of Prayer. Uh, the uh, ministerial, you follow Georgetown Area Ministerial Alliance is, is there and we, we, we always recognize the National Day of Prayer and that would be something that we want all of the citizens of this area to do. Please come join us regardless to who you are regardless of who you are, regardless of where, where you attend service, we ask that you would come with us this day and uh, let's show, let's show, let's show, let's show the world, let's show the county, let's show the state that we, we here in Eufaula and the surrounding areas, if, you, if you're able to pick up this program, we invite that you, to you to come uh, on the National Day of Prayer and my brothers and sisters, if we ever, if we ever needed to come together in prayer. Now listen to the secret here. If we ever needed to come together in prayer, now's that time. We we all need to come together in prayer. We all need to come together somewhere and join hands and, and lift up our voices in prayer. So Thursday would be the national day of prayer. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna recognize that everywhere in the United States of America. And so we ask that you would meet us downtown at the gazebo at your convenience, if you want to come down at your lunch break or, or your cigarette break or whatever break you take, you know, you can stay as long as you want to stay, uh, but just come and show your support for the National Day of Prayer. And that night at 6, at 6 p.m., we're going to be over at First Presbyterian Church over on Randolph. Uh, so, so please come, please come, please come. Again, I'm going to repeat myself one more time and then I'm going to... I'm going to do something else. I need help. There's a young lady who need to be in summer school. She need to take two classes in summer school. 275 a class. I need somebody out there to help me, help me get this young lady in, in, in summer school. Uh, and I need somebody to, there's another young lady that need to be tutored in math over the summer. She need to be tutored in math over the summer. So if you know somebody or if you can do it yourself, please give me a call at 334-232-4428. That's 334-232-4428. And if, you, if uh, nobody answers, please leave me a message. And I promise I will get back. I'll get back. I'll get back. I'll get back with you. I'll get back with you. I promise you I'll get back with you. All right? Please do that now. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say good morning to Mark, and I want to... I want to say good morning to others out there who are listening. Uh, Mark, when you see Mr. Johnny Knight, you tell Mr. Knight you're my friend. Mr. Friend, thank the only friend I got in you follow is, is uh, Jerome. Jerome Lewis. He think that's the only friend I got. Mr. Knight, then that's the only friend I got, Brother Whitley. <laughs> and I, I want him to know he's wrong this morning. So it, it, any of y'all out there just listening, and, and I've, been, I've been friend with the with the Skipper family a long time. I've been friends with, with uh, Brother Gilbert and his family a long time. And uh, Brother Woodlock, I consider you one of my friends. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 when y'all see Mr. Knight, Mr. Wood, y'all tell him. Yeah. <laughs> y'all my friend. Amen? Amen. All right. Uh, my uh, First Baptist Church want me to let you know that they got a very, they got a very special Mother's Day program coming up. 
on the tenth, which is which is Mother's Day, that afternoon at at, uh, at three p.m. They got a very special they got a very special Mother's Day coming up. And um, if y'all never heard Dr. Judy Rutledge Parnell, if you never heard her speak, I tell y'all y'all ought to go. That's a, that that that's a dynamite. She's a dynamite speaker. But now, what make this special? Now I told you that it's Mother's Day. But she's going to have her mother with her. Her mother is 92 years old. Her mother is 92 years old. And she's going to have her mother with her. Now that, that, that's going to be over at First African Baptist. Uh, that's going to be next Sunday. That, next Sunday is Mother's Day. Y'all please, be, please re, be reminded to tell all your mothers Happy Mother's Day. And that, that there are ladies who are not your biological mother. But they have played a great part in your life. Uh, they help raise you. They help feed you. They help clothe you. And you ought to send them a little something. If it's not, if it's nothing more than kind words to say mo Happy Mother's Day, we ought to do that. We ought to, we ought to do that. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be joyful if you could take your mother over here and, and let let Dr. Pondell know you're, you're not the only one who. Bring your mother with you. 92 years old. She's going to be over at First African Baptist uh, next Sunday evening at at at, uh, at, uh, at 3 p.m. And uh, you were watching the chair, and he told me to ask y'all want you to come over there. And I've heard I've heard Dr. Cornell speak, and I tell you what, she's a dynamic speaker, and I think it's going to be extra special for her. It's going to be extra special for her because she's going to have her 92 year old mother. Mother with her Mother's Day is a very special day. It's a very special day. It's a very special day now, and uh, I need not. I need not to remind you. I need not to remind you that all of us, all of us, all of us, all of us uh, are here because we have mothers who birthed us, and 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 and, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be nothing. I I, I say this to. To, to young people all the time that there should be nothing that should put a wedge between you and your mother. That, that, that you know, I've heard, I've heard too many young people mad at their mother. Uh, I think that's foolish. There should be nothing, there should be nothing that put a wedge between you and your mother. You, do you know what your mother went through to birth you? You know, and you never know what circumstances uh, that might be surrounding after she birthed you, and she may not have been <clears throat> the mother that you thought she ought to be. She may not have been the mother that, that, that you wanted, but she's still your mother. And, uh, you know, people say, people say foolish things just because you have a child and make you, and yes it does. That's the, you have to have a child in order to be, to be a mother. Now what kind of mother you are, that, well, that's the only thing we might be able to question. But I, I, I'm saying I'm saying it from a from a child's perspective. You 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 shouldn't have no kind of wedge between you and your mother. If something wrong between you and your mother, you ought to get it right. <laughs> There's an old song that that somebody used to sing when I was growing up, and that is, you don't miss your water till your well runs dry. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, if you are not in a right relationship with your mother, I would do it, and I would do it now. And, and uh, if you don't if you don't feel the specialty of Mother's Day, then 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 you need you need to look at your relationship with God. If you need to look at your relationship with God, because if you're in the right relationship with God, then you you can't help but be in the right relationship. If you love God, then that don't add up according to God's words. So I want you to know that. So so I, I want you to know that, and I can't emphasize enough. I can't emphasize enough, and I think I thank God for that, that there are some people here. There are some people here in the city of Eufaula, and those of you who know, I'm not from Eufaula, but there are some folks here in Eufaula that I, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to them. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to them. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to them, and I'm gonna call some names next next Sunday just to say Happy Mother's Day to you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to Miss Jamaat. I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to Miss Evelyn. I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to Miss Moselle. And there's others I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to. I'm, I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to you. 
uh, Tim would have me to say Happy Mother's Day to you, Miss Mary. And I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to say Happy Mother's Day uh, to a lot of folks. And there's a lot of folks back home, back home <clears throat> in my hometown that I want to say Happy Mother's Day to. And, 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 and that is always an emotional time for me on Mother's Day. But I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to say Happy Mother's Day to, uh, <clears throat> to mothers next Sunday. And really, you, you you ought to you ought to you ought to be creative and find a way to say Happy Mother's Day to your mother, to your mother uh, every day. Those of you who still blessed to have your mother still breathing and still with you, you ought to say Happy Mother's Day to her. You ought to say Happy Mother's Day to her. Uh, uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tell Sister Whitley Happy Mother's Day to her. And, Sister Hollis over at Crown Health. All of those mothers over at Crown Health. Next Sunday we're gonna we're gonna do something special for y'all. We're gonna tell you Happy Mother's Day in a very in a very special in a very special way. In a very special way. I, I it bothers me for children to have bad relationship with their parents, especially especially with their with their mother. Your mother birthed you. Your mother birthed you. And and uh it ain't easy. It it was it wasn't easy uh, because along with everything else they had to do, they still had to carry you and, and you kicked them and <laughs> caused them heart pain or uh, heart heart heartburn and and everything else. But uh, in spite of it all, uh, you're still here. I, I want I want to I want to I want to tell you this is this is the month now. This is the month. Uh, this is the month. Uh, I want to tell you this is the month where they're going to have the first pastor's appreciation for Reverend Upshaw, uh, Bobby Upshaw and his wife. I think Bobby retired. If he didn't retire last week, I think he's going to retire this week from, from over at the water company. I think I missed that from the city. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, at 2 o'clock over at Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church uh, over on Highway 30. Uh, they're having his uh, appreciation, first first year anniversary, first year appreciation, whatever you want to call it, for him and, and sister Upshaw, and uh, our friend, our friend, uh, Pastor Beasley from Star Baptist would be their guest, and you know when Pastor Beasley go, that choir is going to be with him, so they're going to be over there. So uh, again, uh, that's 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 uh, that's May the twenty fourth at two p.m. Uh, over at Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church, first year, first year of pastor's appreciation. Anytime they have a pastor's appreciation, you ought to go and help the congregation say, help the congregation say, help the congregation say, thank you. Uh, the Bible, the Bible teaches us, brothers and sisters, that we are, we are to help one another. Uh, I, I remind people all the time that we are our brother's keeper. And that we ought to carry the burdens of one another, and and uh, it is our is it is it is our is our job to let others know what others are going through. One one of the things I I really rejoiced on this morning is that the governor of Maryland has asked all the whole state to come in prayer this morning for for the city of Baltimore. And, and, I, and, I, and I thought that was great. And what we ought to do, we ought to let each other know. That's why I, uh, <clears throat> I'm, 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 I appreciate it when you let me know who's sick. Not only can I go visit them, but I can let others know. And we can all come together in prayer. That's why I want you to come out for the National Day of Prayer. There are so many things that we need to pray about. <clears throat> and so many things that we need to thank God for. We, we need to thank God for, for so many different things. And, 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 and one of the things that we need to thank God for here in the city of Eufaula and in Barbara County, I went to that program Thursday night and I tell you what, the uh, Eufaula Police Department gave us some great, great information. They brought people in from Montgomery and everywhere else and they talked about these sexual predators and, 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 and uh, they talked about social media, how social media is being used. You, you know, anything, anything that's, that's
that's out there, the devil can get it and it can be some good stuff, but the devil can put his hands on it and, and make it bad and, and that's what's happening. Social media is good. It's good when it's used correctly. But there's so many folks out there that's preying on our children and, 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 and they did a good job of letting us know. Uh, it was very informative and I am talking to my producer. I'm going to pay to have that program put on TV and on YouTube. Because I think it was just that important. Again, I'm going to end my program like I started it. And I'm going to end by asking you to help me help this young lady in summer school. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to share with, with, with you uh, a need. And there's a need for this young lady uh, to go to summer school. She has to take two two classes at 275 a class. And I know that there are some of you out there who would help me to make sure that this young lady would be able to go to summer school. And then I know there are some of you out there who's able to tutor uh, another young lady in math. She just needs to be tutored in math. And I know there are some of you out there who's very good in math and very good in sharing sharing that with somebody else, helping this young lady with math. And that's the number again is 334-232-4428. And that's my home number. And if I'm not there, I, you can please leave me a message. And uh, please leave clearly your name and your number. And I will call you back. Now, if you're calling to find out who this young lady is, don't call me because I'm not going to tell you that because that's not important. All you need to know that it's legitimate and there's a young lady who needs our help. Now that, that's all we need to know. Now if you're calling me and you need to know who she is and all that kind of stuff, but then don't, even, don't even, please don't call me because I'm not going to do that because uh, uh, I, I, don't want, I don't want to embarrass nobody. And that young lady still needs to keep her, 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 her pride. And, and so, but if you want to help her, please call me and if, you, and if you're able to tutor, please call me and, and let me know. Uh, I want to remind you of Gumbo Live Tuesday at 6.45. I want to remind you of Gumbo Live at 6, 6.45. Uh, I got to get out of the way. Dr. Ware and Dr. Ware is coming in and I want to get out of the way. I want to remind you that there's some beautiful days out there now. The weather is beautiful. You can go get your car washed. Mr. Henry want me to remind his hours now. His hours are from Tuesday through Saturday from 9 until. They close on Monday and quite natural on Sunday. But from Tuesday through Saturday from 9 until. And that's the word. That's the hours. 9 until. So 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 you, you got time to get off work and, and run by there and let them let them clean your vehicle up. So I looked at the weather report. It will be beautiful all this week. So now, now what, I, what I want you to do, I want you to pray for somebody. If you don't remember the names that we've called this morning, uh, uh, remember that Dr. Ware is uh, still praying on Wednesdays at, at noon. They're still praying on Wednesday at noon. Let's join them. Uh, uh, wherever you are, they, they tell us, wherever you might be. You don't have to go to no special place. Uh, just join them. Know that when you are praying, others are praying also. And, and, and prayer works. Now, if you may not know it, but take it from somebody that has tried it. And I can tell you that prayer works. God bless you, God bless you, and God keep you. Here's my prayer. Pastor Green reminds all of us to go to church next Sunday. This program can be seen on Ufalo TV 99 on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. It can also be viewed on YouTube at Ufala TV One channel on Monday night. The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of Ufala. Come by to our new location, new facilities and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barbershop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula and Louisville, Alabama, 
with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director.